As I'm recording this video, spring is in the air here in the Midwestern United States where I live. Flowers are blooming, trees are starting to blossom. And how do I celebrate this time of year? By going to a cemetery. I'll explain. So I visit the cemetery where my grandfather, who was my father figure, Bob Borne, is buried fairly regularly. And spring in Ohio, where I live, can be really unpredictable. It can be balmy and warm one day and literally snowing and icy the next. And that's what happened recently is we had a series of days that were really nice. It was like spring came early in early March. And then over the weekend, after the series of balmy days, I mean, there was like a snowstorm. I called it winter, the sequel. So I jog every Sunday. It clears my head and kind of gets me ready for the week. And usually when I go visit the cemetery where my grandfather Bob is buried is usually on Sundays after I go jogging. So this particular Sunday in March, right after we have this snowstorm, I had originally planned to go visit my grandfather's gravesite, And then I thought, well, no, it's too snowy and icy. And I'll just go, you know, the following Sunday when hopefully it will have warmed up again. And then I thought, well, no, I will go today because visiting a graveyard when it's snowy and icy kind of emphasizes that life is short. And it just kind of brings into focus that we don't have eternal spring. You know, we have to make the most of the, the good times that we have in our lives. So I went ahead and went to visit my grandfather at the cemetery on this very snowy, cold, icy Sunday morning. So normally on these cemetery visits, I listen to introspective music. I'm just a huge music fan. As a, as a storyteller, as a writer, as a filmmaker, music just underscores, literally underscores and informs everything I do. And when I go visit my grandfather's gravesite, I always listen to music that reminds me of him or music that was popular when I was young in the 80s, when my grandfather was younger. And so I was kind of shuffling through the songs on my MP3 player while I was getting out of the car to go visit my grandfather's gravesite. And I happened upon Prince's Sometimes It Snows in April. And I thought, this is the perfect song to listen to. It's not April, but it's March, you know, and it's close to spring. And this song is all about loss and about how, you know, sometimes life is unpredictable and things happen that are beyond our control. And so while I was getting out of my car listening to Prince's Sometimes It Snows in April, I caught sight of these statues at this mausoleum in the, the cemetery where my grandfather's buried. And it just reminded me of Nice, France, where I've been, where I visited, where I attended the Cannes Film Festival one year, where Prince filmed the movie Under the Cherry Moon. And I just got inspired to make a short film about winter and call the short film, Sometimes It Snows in March. Here it is. Here's the short film. I'll show it to you. And then I'll explain kind of how it came about and some happy accidents that happened during the filming of this short little one minute film. So what inspired this film was the imagery I saw at the cemetery. These flowers, these bouquets that people had left on loved ones' grave sites that were encased in snow and ice. I just thought it was so poetic. You know, when I was capturing these images on my cell phone, I made sure not to 
get the names of anybody's grave because you know that's crass i don't want to disrespect anyone's grave but i just wanted to capture these images that were so vivid of you know these stark red flowers in the snow and this colorful spring bouquet that was laying in the snow near someone's gravesite and these beautiful statues on this mausoleum and really my initial inspiration was just to capture a whole bunch of images that conveyed winter but what i decided to do was i i thought it would be interesting to get some footage of myself walking where there is no snow so i decided to go to this trail behind my condo development and i knew that there would be parts of the trail that were clear and parts of the trail that were covered with snow and ice and i just wanted to show the contrast and a weird thing happened first of all my phone seemed to get confused like i was filming in landscape mode which is like you know horizontal but my phone just kept filming my feet as i was walking in portrait mode which is weird and so i use adobe premiere to edit and I tried to flip the footage so it was horizontal. And I wanted my footsteps in the snow and the footsteps on the trail without the snow going in the same direction. But for some reason, Adobe wouldn't let me rotate the footage of me walking on the trail without the snow so that my footsteps would be going in the same direction as me when I was walking in the snow. And, I, and so I had to just leave it like that with the footsteps going in opposite directions, which is kind of artistic. It's like you're going in one direction when it's not snowing and another direction when it is snowing. And a really weird thing, sort of a um, serendipitous thing that happened is that, so I was originally wearing tennis shoes because you know that's what I jog in. And then I thought, well, filming my feet in tennis shoes is not very artistic. Let me go put on these black boots that I have to film my feet walking. And there just happened to be this pair of black boots as if somebody just stepped out of them. Or, you know, if you've ever seen the Avengers, the, the one with Thanos, where at the end people disappear, it was like Thanos had come and like somebody had disappeared out of their boots. And one boot was like in one part of this big field and the other boot was like way over in another part of the field. I don't know what happened to this person. Hopefully they're okay. So it was just a totally random coincidence that when I went to go film myself walking in this field behind my house, that there were boots that were almost identical to the ones that I was wearing that someone had left behind. Something else I wanted to say about this short film is obviously I was going for a kind of European art film kind of vibe. And it didn't take long to put together or edit, but Sundays are all, well, Every day is pretty much really busy for me, you know, because I'm juggling so many different projects. In addition to promoting the documentary that I made, Lady Wrestler, about the Black women who integrated pro wrestling, I just finished my first fictional narrative film called Things Are Tough All Over, about a Black family struggling through the Great Recession of 2008. And uh, so that'll be coming out soon. I'll keep you posted on that, but I have to finish up the editing along with my editor that I'm working with. I'm working on my re-releasing my fiction book, Chloe, and turning it into a series. So that's coming out later this year. So Sundays, weekends are like when I try to really buckle down and get a lot of work done. But I just felt inspired to make this short film. And, you know, you could argue that it was a waste of time, that I should have focused on my existing projects because the couple of hours that I took to make this short film could have been used on my existing projects, but I really think that creativity breeds creativity. I learned a lot making this short film. Number one, I learned about that weird thing with my cell phone that it, in certain instances, even if you turn the phone horizontal, it'll only take portrait footage. So I learned about that. You know, I have a finished short film under my belt. You know, it's another little thing on my resume. So yes, it may be the smart, practical thing, to only focus on your projects that you have in the works and to never deviate from that. But I'm glad I took this little detour and made this short film because literally after I filmed myself in the snow, the sun came out and melted all the snow. So if I had waited to try to do this short film, the snow was all gone and all, all week it's been warm and balmy. As I said, winter and spring here in the Midwest is very, very unpredictable. So. Sometimes you have to literally take time to smell the roses. If you like this video, please leave a comment, share it, and subscribe to my channel.